So heavy rains last night caused some areas of the Temba town to be littered with mud and plastic packets and bottles. A businesswoman, Lydia Tolly, explains what happens. <laughs> She called for the construction of better DNGs at the Tembertown community. Another resident of Tembertown, William Kamara, blamed the disaster on Kush smokers. But like the bridge on, I then push man and they go to the dirty the country and at the bridge and say that they are the living. Every day are the first they have for this bridge. Every day. But like this at the rain counter. So my friend at the yard and then they keep on at the house. When you attack the camp, they sweep up for candle. That was then I didn't can take and carry back for winners three to at the Temba Town Bridge, tricycles and motorbikes were finding it difficult to drive because of the debris on the road. A tricycle rider, Muhammad Kamara, who plies between Temba Town and PZ, called for the swift intervention from the authorities as the debris were affecting their tricycles. <laughs> Even just not send me tar, just for more part because the stone wall will mass. I go put the car can't be Boss will tire. Balasako, a bike rider, called on Sierra Leoneans to take responsibility with the disposal of their rubbish. So, we will talk to the government, but also we have no responsibility because the government will make a let you at least let you talk shows and also let you advertisement at their radio station and their TV station for me to left for TV to see it. What you can see behind me is a testament to the claims made by residents in this Timber Town community that these bridges have been transformed into a dump site and at the end of the day when it rains, it overflows to the streets and it affects them as residents. Their call, however, is for the Free Town City Council and the government to come up with alternative routes for this set of people so they can find a way to drop their rubbish. For SLBC News, um, SSAC will report.